Hell of a show down there on Sirkesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sirkesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. No offense. Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers, too. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. And hey, Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? She plugged herself into Cerberus Tech without authorization. Well, technically, she is Cerberus Tech, so... Not helping, Joker. I've run the checks, Commander. She's still based in the Normandy. Running this body just gives her a little more flexibility. Sweet. Sweet flexibility. I am right here, Chap. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, 
There is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. I see. I will take that into consideration. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy map.
Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few, myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? I admire your bravery. You're now the savior of your entire race. The transmutative agent that propels a species to a new stage of evolution. Many will fear that. Ah, Commander, we were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? A blood test. Commander, please explain to him my only goal is to ensure her health is stable. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Then we're in the same trap. By helping you, my career in STG is almost certainly over. Why do it? Every species has their role to play. Centuries from now, the Krogan could be the pinnacle of galactic evolution. Even I don't believe that. But I want my people to. And let him work, Rex. Just keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Of course. And remember, I still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Now, if that's settled, I have work to do before he changes his mind. So you're the one who told Rex about me. I had no choice. But you went against your own government. They were wrong to hide you. I couldn't watch your entire species go extinct while the solution was being held prisoner in my laboratory. Your people fear my kind. That will never change. It has to. Fear has never contributed anything to the galaxy except more fear. The cycle must be broken. Besides, you deserve better than being treated as an experiment. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And <laughs> that you can tell him. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. 
Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they've become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. Excuses to earn them honor. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. <laughs> Deal. Commander, Eve's blood tests are in good order. Malin's notes have been invaluable in restoring her health. I'm glad I saved them. You quite possibly saved her life, too. How have you been getting along with Eve? She tried to kill me at first. Krogan don't react well to Solarians doing medical tests on them. Once that was cleared up, we've formed something of a cross-species relational bond. You mean you're friends now? It's more an agreement not to kill each other. Species take time to evolve. So do friendships. Though I still haven't learned her real name yet. Have you? She said it's a secret. Baffling custom. I suppose Eve will have to do for now. Though one wonders how other Krogan would get her attention. Excuse me, Krogan of female persuasion. Do you have a moment? I knew an STG scientist named Morden Solis. Have you heard of him? Indeed. I once punched him in the face. You what? He was still an STG at the time. I postulated there was more to evolution than just random mutation. Morden disagreed. We argued, we drank, then argued some more. Soon enough, a good fracas seemed the best way to settle things. Who won? He got a black eye. I broke a few fingers. We called it even and went back to drinking. I'm sorry to say, Morden died. I know. STG is aware of your mission through the Omega-4 relay. For Morden's sake, I hope he finally found the grace he deserved. Thanks. I appreciate your help in this. And I appreciate the chance to witness this moment in history, Commander. We're charting a new course in evolution. next to us at chow time and then broadcast something like that that's traitorous hey it's just an opinion piece you don't like it don't download it you're saying we don't need terra nova lose one colony save five that's the math you know what the commander did for us the colony yes i was on a little thing called the news you think you can fly on this ship sit next lose the piece or lose your spot on this ship allers this is exactly what I was afraid of. Thanks, Commander. What's your choice, Allers? Like you said, it's just your opinion, right? I'll pull it. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do.
Shepard. <sighs> what the hell are you doing down here with the grunts? <sighs> what do you mean? <sighs> Been down here a while. <sighs> Started to think you didn't like me. <sighs> Better late than never. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> it's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. <sighs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Yes, I can, Lieutenant. You pulling rank on me, boss? We're just soldiers down here, no? Sure. But this soldier will clean the floor with you if you step out of line. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <sighs> nice. What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. Lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay? Your ship, your rules. Your loss. Commander. Hey, Commander. You see that Krogan female? Huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. I'll talk to you later. You bet.